some chat. I just got done watching the Nicki Minaj Rihanna fly video, and I was like, I have to do a makeup tutorial like now. I was about to head to bed, and I'm like, no, I'm recording a makeup tutorial on this look. And normally, Nicki Minaj's looks really catch my eye, but from this music video, I really liked Rihanna's makeup, and I couldn't tell in the video what color smoky eye she had. It looked really sultry, it looked really sexy, and I wanted to make sure that I got it right. So I googled some pictures, and I saw a picture of Nicki Minaj with Rihanna, and you could clearly tell her eye makeup was purple. And purple is my favorite color, if you guys did not know. I love purple smoky eyes, so I'm like, I haven't done one in a while. I'm gonna do a purple smoky tonight, right now. I did a makeup tutorial for this look. I showed you how to do everything except the eyebrows. I already have a makeup tutorial on how I do my eyebrows, but I show you the foundation, the eyes, the lips, the cheeks, all of it. So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's a full makeup tutorial. I hope that you dolls and gents will enjoy this. The music video was so much fun, and I think I'll probably do one of Nicki Minaj's looks in that video if you guys want to see this. If you want to see how I got this look, stay tuned, and if you like the look, thumbs it up. First, you want to apply an eyeshadow primer all over your eyelid, and this is going to allow your eyeshadows to stay on all day without creasing. Next, apply a cream eggplant purple eyeshadow all over your eyelid, basically focusing on the inner three-fourths of your eyelid. This is going to serve as a base for the eyeshadow that we're going to place over it later. Now I'm applying another cream eyeshadow, but this time I'm using a deeper colored one, and this one is a matte black cream eyeshadow. I'm focusing it on the outer V of my eyelid and blending it out with my finger. This is going to serve as a base for our crease color. Now that we've completed adding our bases, we're going to apply corresponding eyeshadow colors on top of them. So first I'm applying a purple eyeshadow all over the purple base that we used first. Next with the pointed crease brush, I'm using a matte black eyeshadow in the crease just to deepen it up. I'm really blending it in with the purple so it doesn't look so harsh. Once again, I'm just going back and forth between the two brushes, blending the two colors together seamlessly. Next, I'm taking an eyeshadow that's a little bit darker than my skin tone into my crease area to blend out that crease color. Now I'm applying a satin pearl eyeshadow right underneath my brow bone to kind of make that area pop a little bit. Make sure you blend in every color well. That's the whole point of any look. Now it's time for my favorite part of this look, which is the eyeliner. She definitely has dark, dark eyeliner around her eyes, so that's what we're going to do right now. And we're going to smudge it out later, so don't worry about being too careful. Next, it's time for smudging. She definitely has very smudged out, sexy, sultry eyes. So that's what we're going to do right now. Once again, I'm going to blend in the eyeliner with a fluffy dome brush. This is just going to make the look more seamless. Now I'm going to do the same thing on my lower lash line. Now I'm smudging a matte purple eyeshadow underneath my bottom lash line to make the look look even more smoky. Now I'm smudging the eyeliner with the purple. I'm applying natural yet flirty eyelashes now, and you don't have to do this step, but Rihanna is definitely wearing lashes in the music video. Some of you 
might have noticed, some of you might not have noticed, but I'm not wearing foundation. I just did my um, eye makeup and then I wanted to do foundation later because I know a lot of you guys would rather me do like a full face makeup tutorial, so this is just for you. I've already applied my primer and this is just the Studio Secrets Primer from L'Oreal. I like this primer. It works really good at keeping your foundation on. I'm going to use an HD foundation because I'm pretty sure Rihanna probably has on an HD foundation on. So I'm going to use the Makeup Forever HD foundation. My shade in this is 178, I think. Yes, it is. So I'm just going to put... Mm, I'm not even going to put any on the back of my hand. I'm going to squirt some on here. And that was about half a pump that I put on there. And I'm just going to blend it into my face. Being careful not to disturb my eye makeup. And I'm going to use the other two pumps on the other side of the face. And I'm going to put the rest on the rest of my face. This brush gives a nice light coverage, but it blends out perfectly and it looks so good. I love it. And this is actually a Sedona Lace brush. I'll do a review on these soon. Now, I would normally stop at this point and not apply any more makeup, but I'm going to do one more pump. So, altogether, I'm going to use two pumps just because I want my makeup to be flawless. So, I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and applied a second layer of foundation of that Makeup Forever HD. And now I'm just going to apply a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes just to brighten underneath here. So my eye makeup pops even more so I don't look so sleepy and tired. So I'm going to use this Coastal Scents Bright Eyed Eye Brightener Concealer. I talked about this in a video before and this one is in dark. I'm just going to take a little bit and put it on the back of my palm. And as you can see it's lighter than my skin because I want it to brighten up underneath my eye. Just going to use my fingers so it blends into my skin. And a little bit of this goes a long way. Don't let it settle into your fine lines, so look up. Okay, do you see how that brightened underneath my eye area? I love that. So I'm going to set that concealer with a little bit of CoverGirl Translucent Powder in Translucent Honey. And just press it in. Just to set it. I'm going to take a little bit of the Sephora Mattifying Foundation. This one is in Deep 56. It comes in a little container like this. I'm just going to get a little bit and sweep it over the rest of my face where I didn't put that powder for the concealer. This is just to set my foundation to make it last. 
take it on my jaw a little bit as well. Now let's do the lips and the cheeks. Looks like Rihanna has on bronzer as always, so I'm going to use my CoverGirl Queen bronzer. This one is an ebony bronze, just to contour. And to give my face dimension, since I took the dimension out when I added foundation. Rihanna has on a pink blush, but I'm going to mix two blushes. It's Michael Todd Zodiac, which is a plummy pink kind of color. It's matte with Sigma's Not Fade Away it's Blush. It's a hot pink matte blush. For lips today, I'm just going to use a nude slash pink tone lip. So I'm going to use Sis Lipstick from MAC mixed with a little bit of Novu Fra. That's Sis. And that's Novu Fra on top. Now I'm going to use a lip liner. Use cork lip liner. going to use the Michael Todd Vivid Glaze in Alive on top. And that's the completed look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun doing it as always. I'll talk to y'all later. Love y'all. Bye.